Hi folks, Travis Fox here with FoxOptic.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to connect to and update your device using the new StreamVision 2 application. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing it on here, I've got uh, my Samsung uh, phone here, this is a Galaxy 9. I've already downloaded the StreamVision 2 application. Uh, so just so I can share with you here, I'm going to come in and I'm going to do a screen recording. So I'm going to get that started right now. So that's getting started up over here for us. So let's jump over to the device and on the device, first thing we want to do is come in and we're going to do a long, well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start record so I can show you as much of this as possible inside the device. But I'm going to do a long button press right here on the center menu button. We're going to go to the Wi-Fi activation and click that to turn it on. So now effectively what I've done is I've turned on the antenna. The, the device itself has an antenna built into it that your phone is able to connect to. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull down and we're going to go into the settings. And inside of settings, we're going to come to connections. And in connections, we're going to go to our Wi-Fi. And then you can see the Helion is setting here inside of those device settings. So we're going to click on that. And if I've never connected to this before, it would come up and ask me to enter a password. The default password from your device out of the box is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just one through eight numerical. Um, it's going to come up on the screen. You can see there where it's telling me that it's connected without internet. Basically, that's just telling you it's got a simple Wi-Fi connection from the device, uh, you know, to your peripheral device over here. They can't connect to the internet and other things and, and that via this. I mean, so it's basically, you could be in the middle of nowhere and this thing's putting that signal out around it for you to connect to. So we've went into our settings. We've clicked on that to connect to it. Again, if it would ask me for the password, we went and entered that password one through eight. Now that we're connected to it, uh, we're gonna come back out here to our main menu and we're gonna find our Stream Vision two application. So like mine's sitting over here, um, I'm going to click there to open that. Once that opens up, you're going to see here in the middle of the screen, it's asking me what I want to do and I'm going to tell it connect to the device. And once it connects there, you can see, so I'd already pre-connected in settings. And now when I open Stream Vision 2, it's already, the you know, it's just recognized that device. So you can see where it comes up and it tells me that I'm connected to a Helion 2 XQ38. If I wanted to go live into the viewfinder, uh, you can see obviously where I could do that. Um, if I want to come back in into the settings section here to check for firmware updates. That's down here in the bottom right hand corner. We're going to hit the settings button and you can see the list of devices. I do a lot of updates on the devices as I sell them before I send them out. So you can see where I've got a lot of them, you know, obviously inside of my uh, you know, inside of my application here. But we're gonna go to this one right here. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna hit the check firmware update spot. It's telling us that there is an update available. So we're gonna click download the update. And so this is gonna work on this device because I have a cellular connection in addition to the Wi-Fi connection that I'm holding to the device uh, to be able to download that. If I did not have that, at that point, I would have to disconnect from the device, reconnect to my home Wi-Fi, for example, and then download the packet and then reconnect to the device to push that packet over there. But this is gonna make it a lot more seamless uh, because I've got both on this actual device, which is what I would assume most of you are gonna have. So now you can see where it's saying that it's down downloaded the, the update and it's ready to install that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to click install firmware. And then once I click install firmware inside the device, the recording that you're following along with there is going to go dead. Uh, so effectively you'll see that it's telling me not to disconnect and that it's saying that it's pushing the update across. And so it's going to come up and it's going to tell me that the update has been installed here in a second. But what I'm going to do so you can kind of see this progress, 
I'm going to open up my little uh, camera here and kind of record down through the device. So you can see there, as this is taking place inside the device, you know, the device is going to be doing some things. So it actually does take it about another two minutes to be able, not quite two minutes, to be able to do the full update. So you want to make sure that you're not shutting your device off while this is going on. Hopefully you can see that pretty good. Um, I'm not actually recording. I'm hoping my screen recorder is capturing all this. Uh, but as you can see, it's going through the prompts and telling you that, you know, that it's getting uh, all the update process taken care of. It's going to go through this, uh, you know, GU, GUI, I think it is, and GPU updating. And then pretty soon here in a second, there is going to be a status bar that comes up. But effectively, um, you know, this is going to be the procedure for any of the Pulsar devices. Um, it's going to be very similar on StreamVision, uh, the original StreamVision application or StreamVision 2. Now you can see where that status bar has come up in there and pretty, pretty Pretty quick here. Uh, you're going to see that it's going to start working together. It's going to seem pretty slow at first, and then it's going to pick up uh, speed and come come together in there here in just a second. And then effectively, it'll be done. It'll it'll shut itself off and turn itself back on, and the firmware you know will then be updated. But I'm going to let it play out here so you can get an idea of that. But again, what I was talking about. So StreamVision 2 is going to be applicable to any of the 2 series devices and Thermion, you know, so that would include Thermion, Thermion 2, uh, Trail 2, your Axion XQ series, Helion 2, and all of that. Now you see that my camera timed out. I'm going to bring that back up. There we go. So it, had, it finished up in there and then the device restarted. But now, effectively, if I do, uh, I'm going to just do that recording here so that I don't have to connect again. Actually, I'll go ahead and start my record again so that I can show you this portion. So now if we come into the device and we do long press on the menu button, we come over here to the device information and you can see right there on the fourth line down where it says we're on firmware, you know, that's what the FW stands for, 4.10.001. So we've successfully updated this device. It's as simple as that. If you wanted to go ahead and reconnect to your StreamVision 2 application, it would be as simple as just pulling down, going into that setting. You know, first off, you would come in here, turn your Wi-Fi on, go into settings on the phone, reconnect to that Wi-Fi connection, and then open the StreamVision 2 application once you've done that and everything would be resolved. Um, if you have any questions on this, would like to give me a call toll free 877-806-2977 or check us out on the web www.foxoptic.com we sell these devices and many more uh, tripods and a lot of different things like that so be sure and give us a look thanks for watching and have a great day